Hello! Welcome to Talon 4. Uh, in case you don't know who I am, my name is Isaac. Uh, usually I do Let's Plays when recording gameplay footage for my channel, but uh, an old friend of mine came to me with this request. That request was to make a walkthrough for collecting all upgrades in the game. Um, like a parallel play, if you will. Uh, one that focuses more on guiding the player while also giving tips. Uh, also, this is the most important video game of my life, so I'm committing far more than just a let's play of it. Now, this is going to be a 100% item only walkthrough guide. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> that means no logbook scan since this is aimed specifically towards getting the secret ending, um, which the scan percentage plays no part in. I'll be explaining how to beat every boss, along with tips and tricks, uh, as well as when it's best to get each and every item. Um, so I'm going to start off with the item count. Uh, the total number of items is 103 throughout the game. Uh, main upgrades are 22, missile tanks are 50, energy tanks are 14, power bombs are 5, uh, Chozo artifacts are 12, and the Chozo artifacts are required to beat the game, <clears throat> which some of them I'll uh, be able to get early, as well as I will be waiting to get some because there's upgrades following where you find the artifacts. Um, that being said, it, uh, it goes along with the fact that I've laid out a route to follow that will best utilize time and opportunity. Um, I have a lot I've written to go off of as I progress through the game and getting each and every item. Um, also in regards to the beginning of the game, um, I, I at first considered um, I, at first I considered writing out a whole thing at the beginning, but since we end up losing all the items anyways, since it is a Metroid game, I decided to just blast through the beginning, um, which also brought into account, like, maybe I should just cut the entire beginning out and start out on the planet. Um, but then I wouldn't really have the opportunity to kind of explain things as I go along. Um, but yeah, um, this playthrough is going to be less about, um, less about, um, talking about my nostalgia and stuff. Maybe I will every now and then, but I'm going to focus primarily on kind of guiding and almost like you can play along with me. You know, parallel play. Is that a thing? Is that like a... Are there parallel plays instead of let's plays? That's what let's play is, right? No, no, no. That's what walkthrough is, right? Walkthrough is you walk through the game instead of I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> um, that's just what an old friend of mine wanted was to be able to uh, play alongside the person for their love of the game. I'm I'm catering. I'm. Um, What's the word? Beck and call <laughs> to this person. Um, even though this game is... I pretty much know it. Um, like the back of my hand. One of the things he said was, Who else is there to do this? Than you? I haven't even looked on the internet to see if there's anyone that's done this, so... Um, and then I'm going to be playing with um, the motion controls because I'm a lunatic, <laughs> apparently. Um, 
This is the one game. Oh, I missed that one. Mm. There we go. Um, apparently, uh, apparently motion controls are like, I don't know, I can't convey to people. I'm like, yeah, dude, but, excuse me, sir. There's just no winning when it comes to motion controls, unless it's this game. This game motion controls, I most certainly prefer it. I can't watch people play this like it's Halo or Call of Duty, it just makes me want to throw up. <laughs> like, I don't have motion sickness, but whenever it's this game, I do, apparently. I considered playing this on hard, but... Um... I don't know, maybe I just feel like making the game look like it's easy rather than difficult. Look at those little gremlins. Ooh, I might switch between this and uh, GameCube controls if my arm gets tired. But other than that, um, I just like the freedom that it, I feel like I have with my wrist. And whenever she bounces up and down with her gun arm, it's so, it's so nice. It makes me feel like I'm immersed in the game. Fam, you know? No. Whoa. You can dance. <laughs> you know? Hey. Almost got me there. So there's a large variety of things to scan in the game, including the um, logbooks and stuff. Um, but that, uh, like I said, does not contribute to the item completion. Thankfully, I did that as well. But oh, whoops. Um. But I don't know, I... This was not requested of me. Again. <gasps> no logbooks. Logbook is... It's a... It's a... It's a trip. It's not as bad... As... Um... I thought it would be, though. Doing it... Uh, casually. It's very time-consuming, but... You know. Uh, I'm not going to save it. <gasps> I don't want to save it, mate. <gasps> Let me free, please. My soul aches for freedom. Um, excuse me, I was not in Morph Ball. Dude, it's the... I mean, I was in Morph Ball, not standing up. It's the Smash Brothers stage. And, you know, the... the Yes. <laughs> I remember this boss was extremely hard growing up, man. I first played this game. What? Excuse me, you should be dead. Oh, it's because I didn't scan it. That's right. If you scan it, you'll get the... Whoops. You'll get the... Um, the what's it called? The weak point, and you'll do more damage. I was wondering, like, what the heck? Why isn't it dead yet? Evacuate. <gasps> Evacuate. Evacuate. 
Yeah, you got your dent, 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 uh, dent. Except it's not. It's not the the normal. That's odd. I'm just now realizing it's not the Ridley theme. Wow, for the first time in my life, I'm actually realizing that it's not the Ridley theme being crammed down my throat. Just kidding, I like the Ridley theme. <laughs> I'm not... Night, night. Oh wait, I need to scan this thing. <gasps> Delicious. Delicious. Morph ball so fun. Woo! Oh gosh, that was. Ah! Yeah. Ooh. Oh, let me through. What the? What the? What? What? Boy, what are you doing? <laughs> Closing on me. <laughs> it's rude, man. Is Ridley, dude, this is the this is the cutscene that resold the game. Did you know that Metroid Prime is actually a technical marvel back in the day? Interestingly enough, it actually still is. It's locked at 60 FPS on a console that only has four gigabytes of RAM. Can you believe that, bro? It's crazy. What are they doing over there at Retro Studios? They have all the secrets. They have the truth of video games and how to make them. I mean, look at this game. As Samus dies. Night night, Samus. Just kidding. Look at the L on her chest. She took an L just now. <laughs> Oh no, Samus, you got the L over here. Look at all these L's. Malfunction. She needs more L's on her chest for each one of these. Dang, this game looks so good. I've already beaten it like two or three times and just... Oh, it's just... I don't, I don't get sick of it. I don't get sick of this game. This game's always been there. Look at the space pirate. <laughs> He's like that guy in Treasure Planet that falls into the black hole. He's just drifting off into... Oh wait, no. The other guy. The crab guy. Look at him. There he goes. Bye! <laughs> He's doofy. That's cute. I never noticed the... I don't know if the space parts are actually there in the original. I never, I never noticed them until I played this one. I mean, it still looked as good as this to me back then, but...
Dang, this game is just... Vibe. The game. The very definition of vibe is Metroid Prime. Not Breath of the Wild, sorry for all you Zelda fans. It's this. You can't, you can't argue it, just look at it, embrace it, you know? Um, anyways, <laughs> biases aside, uh, so our first, our first, um, item is gonna be the missile launcher. We're gonna head to, um, Chozo Ruins first. And then we're gonna fight a boss, the first boss. I love the three round burst. I imagine some people are like, oh, I can't just immediately charge shot, why not? And they brought it over from um, Hunters, I think, I hope. I've never beaten Hunters, I need to. Arthritis and all. You know. I may do a few E3 um, look around. The E3 trailer uh, where they pause and they just glance around. Like it's a cutscene or something. Speaking of cutscenes, this one. This is a cutscene. There's a ton of missile tanks in here, man, and an energy tank in here, but we can't reach them yet. There's one right there, we got one, uh, there's one in there, two, three, um, four, that's four upgrades in one room. I have them all written down, so don't worry, I'm not going to miss any of them. Ouch. Once I get the map, I'm going to actually start... Wait, hold on. Oops, that's not the map button. Yeah, I don't have a map, so... Once I get the map, I'll start actually pointing out what room I'm going to so you can tell. But right now, it's all just muscle memory, essentially. Alright, here's the first boss. Let me read what I have. So this is the Hive Totem boss. This boss is pretty basic. Use the radar at the top left of the screen to locate the swarming wasps when they stop to charge at you. Um, and I think I have more stuff to go off of in the actual fight. That is kind of um, tedious to type out, you know. You can kind of spread your shots around as you Oof. jumping and strafing is very helpful, and it helps avoid getting knocked off into the poison. sensitivity a little bit I think yeah because it's like yeah, if you spread your shots around you should like that see so you can clear off a bunch of them as they're moving around and jumping don't want to stay in one spot
And with that, we have one. All right, I'm gonna up my sensitivity a little bit, I think. Real quick. That is not, I get the pause and they're like swapped from the original. All right, let me grab this. Okay, so this is our very first missile tank. Uh, this gives Samus the ability to fire concussive projectiles. Does pretty good damage to enemies and is a great way to dispose of them quickly. Um, is also required for opening certain doors and item and obtaining. There's no obtaining right there. Uh, and obtaining items throughout the game. Um, I can explain the missile combo. So, I believe it actually explains it in the... This launcher adds ballistic weapon and capability to the arm cannon. Uh, press X to fire the missile launcher and A to return to the B mode. So if you hit X and then A, it'll cancel your missile launcher. So... Say I shoot a missile, right? And see how it's all, it's like flayed out like a flower? You hit A and it'll cancel it. So if you shoot a missile and then hit A, you can use, you can do like a rapid fire. You can be like, like that. That's the missile combo. Now I need missiles. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, and this is our first energy tank. Um, let me make sure I read this. So, this is transport access north, found through the door after Hive Totem Boss. That's self-explanatory. <clears throat> okay, and then... Let me look at the map again. So, now we're gonna head to the Ruined Gallery, which is right here. And there is a hidden behind a cracked brimstone wall is a missile tank. Destroying the wall with a missile will reveal this upgrade. So let's head over to there. Oh. And now that we have missiles, we can destroy the wasps, or the, the hives, I mean. Okay, so we have two things to get. We have, this is the cracked wall that I was talking about. That'll give us ten. And then, I want to avoid the poison as we... Grab a map room right here. Download it. Stick the gun arm in the thing. I don't know how that works. Interesting. How you sh it's like if I was like, oh, I need a map, I'm gonna shove a gun in a computer. Anyways. Uh, now we have the full map so I can actually guide out where we're going. Uh, next is Morph Ball, which is actually right where I'm on top of, I believe. Yes. So we're going to go back through here and around to fight another, more like a mini boss. Oh gosh. Which way is it? Oh wait, no, I know which way it is. I got all spun around for a second. Forgive my humanity. Oh my gosh, my wrist does not like this position. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, poor wrist. Why do I do this to you? Good night. Okay. Can't get that missile tank yet either. Sorry about your bad luck, but... 
it's not in the program right now. Oh gosh. Alright. I can tank some of that. So the missile tanks have splash damage. Which is good for doing things like that. If you want to clear out two at a time. You can shoot the ground. Okay, so first we're going to start off with a bunch of these things. Whoa, my gosh, I didn't have time to really react, dude. sure I stack up on missile tanks all right so this is the plated beetle its weak point is its giant red bulbousy butt thing that it has giant pimple like that episode of Spongebob where he whoa a few missiles should do it he interrupted me while I was talking about Spongebob how dare he you know an episode where Spongebob cuts off a, his pimple on his nose? It's like that. Just gotta... Whoa, that's up... That's really up... <laughs> up close and personal. Okay, once obtaining this item, it will allow Samus to enter Morph Ball mode. You'll then be able to roll around through small openings Samus wouldn't normally be able to fit through. We'll eventually be finding a variety of other power-ups for the Morph Ball. Okay, and then next we're going to be heading to Watery Hall Access, which is over here. I'm trying to control the map with one hand. The Watery Hall Access is... Um, I think it's right here. Yes, it's gonna be right here. So now we need to go back the way we came. Bye. I think I missed. Ooh, I didn't miss. Ha ha. My aim. See, that's what I like about the motion controls. Is you can just kind of like quickly point and snipe where you want to shoot it. Do trick shots, you know. It's Call of Duty without the Call of Duty. Who needs Call of Duty when you got Metroid Prime? Unless it's zombies. You can't replace zombies with Metroid Prime. It's just, it's just not feasible. They're two completely different codependence C's. Codependencies. Maybe. I missed! Whoa! 
okay. And if you use the audio cues, you actually hear it. Okay, and then is the next is a charge beam. All right, so let me read this. Um, charge beam is obtained by scanning four runes hidden throughout the room. Okay, so the first one is right here. The second one is right here underneath the mushroom things third one's there and then the last one's actually right above us Du, 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 du. Now we can scan the hammer and it'll ironically break the door. Not ironically. Purposefully. Alright, cool. So, uh, charge beam allows you to hold down A to charge up energy. When released at a foe, it will deal extra damage. It also allows us to pull in energy and ammo drops magnet in if you will i guess um this upgrade works for all other beam weapons as well so that is nice <gasps> ew that's like some resident evil looking eyeball whoa Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to play through the game without charge beam. Uh, the first time I played the game, I actually overlooked it when I was a little kid. So. There's a save room right over there, actually. If you feel like you're up for it. Goodbye. I usually get this wrong. Yeah, I got it wrong. I always forget if it's left or right. Alright, so this is the... Incinerator drone. We wait for the top of the mechanism to pop up and fire at it to inflict... What? Did I read that right? Wait for the top of the mechanism to pop up and fire at it to inflict damage. Dodge the fire and avoid the war wasps. 
these beginning ones, beginning bosses, starting bosses aren't really too crazy in depth. But you can use Morph Ball to get under the fire, I believe. Oh, no you can't. <laughs> I lied, sorry. There we go. And then it's going to shoot fire up at the wasps and make them all aggro. Whoa, and it'll do that. Jump over one end and duck under the other. Whoa. Or just strafe until you're satisfied. Oh no, you can just stand under one. I think maybe one more go at it. Oof. Done. Is that four times? I think that's four times. Three or four times. Goodbye. <gasps> the bombs. Alright. So hitting A will allow us to lay down a bomb to destroy certain obstacles and obstructions. It's also a good option for dealing damage while fleeing or rolling past enemies. This upgrade also comes with Spring Ball. No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. Which allows us to quickly hop up into the air more easily than placing down a bomb. So if you're using motion controls like me, or a controller, you can quickly lift up. Oh my gosh, oh yeah, and here's a missile tank I need to read uh, burn dome missile tank place a bomb on a small destroyable wall to find this upgrade after defeating the incinerator drone okay and then next we're gonna head to uh, the furnace which is um. Oh, we can't. It's right here. We can't look at it because the room hasn't been discovered. And it's not on the map, but it's right here. In this little. Through that door. Oh my gosh, let me in! <laughs> oh no. Ow. Okay, so there's these. What the heck are these things called? Oh, this should go through. Stone Toad. You want to hop up into it and it'll eat you, but then you can gruesomely murder it with your bombs. Hop into this uh, morph ball slot. And then the puzzle will commence. There's a total of three of these. The first two, and then the last one, we have to tread across some platforms. As we contemplate life and our existence, you know? Whoa, those things don't even have to contemplate their existence. They just end it immediately. Oh 
my gosh, I did it with Morph Ball. <laughs> I've never done that before. Whee! Dude, Morph Ball's so fun. Always. It's never as fun as it is in the Prime games. Woo! It's our second energy tank. How about that? <laughs> it's just rolling sideways for a sec. <laughs> Ooh, morph ball physics. Ah. Okay, next. I need to point out where we're going. Gathering hall. Um. Okay, so that is actually right here. Okay, so, um, originally requires space jump, but can be accessed early, um, by carefully bomb jumping up to it. Place a bomb to reveal this upgrade. So we can kinda get this one early if we're careful. By placing a bomb. Oh goodness. You know, people complain about Joy Cons, but. Oh man, I need to be holding right. I'm holding forward too much. No! I had it! It didn't take me this long last time I did this. There we go. Put a bomb down. And voila! Now we can carry. How many can we carry? 25. Dude, 25 missiles. Okay, and what's next? Is next just. Okay, so next is Varia suit. Um, okay. Wait, I gotta point out where we're going. We're gonna head to this ginormous. Headphones. Okay, so we're headed to this giant, um, blatantly large room. Can't miss it. It's huge and obvious. Alright, so just like the other room that we were in, um, there's runes in this room that we have to scan. There's one there, and scanning, I think there's four again, all four of them will open a door at the top for us. Second one is on this tree trunk right here. Third one's right here. I'm trying to keep an eye out for that right there. The red grass will actually hurt you. Um, so we need to shoot it. In order to get past it. Alright, last one's right here. We can get through this by placing a bomb. Ooh, that face.
All right, so this is Flagra. So concentrated weapon fire will uh, leave it dazed for a short period of time. During this opportunity, keep a focus lock on the boss and quickly sidestep to each solar panel. Giving them a quick charge shot burst will knock out the panels. This will leave Flogra open to roll into the small tunnels placed around so we can lay a bomb and damage the boss. Do this in a total set of four phases and uh, we will acquire the Varia suit. I don't even think we need to focus fire on Flogra. Honestly, we just shoot it the one time. No, 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 no. As we progress, more of the solar panels will come down, and we want to stun oh, Flogra because it'll knock down the solar panels after we knock them up if we're not fast enough. I don't need Varia suit, I need headphones. Du, 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 du. Look at those little dingle dangs on them. They're like fidgeting around. <gasps> They're so silly. This is a really silly looking boss. I always thought those giant things on its head were its eyes. But lo and behold, it has like a tiny little skeleton face. Dude, it's Scyther. No! Can I get around you? Yes, I can. See, look at this little face right here. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> wow. All right, that's that's fair enough, dude. <laughs> that's what I get for making fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> the game caught me trolling, man. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and you're gonna fall right on top of me, aren't you? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, get out of my way. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Man, we were friends for a second. Or just a toxic relationship. <gasps> Get it toxic? Because it's... It's all the toxic in the water? Ha ha ha. 
Now that it's gone, the toxic relationship is gone. Wow. And there we are. The Varia suit. My favorite one. I don't know why. It just is. Dude, no more L. Now we got... Oh, we don't have any L's. I was like, maybe we got two L's now, but no, we just got... Green chest piece. Green lines on the chest piece. Cool. Dangerous areas of heat are now accessible. Cool, so now we can go to the lava zones. Alright, so next we're going to head to uh, the vault, which is right here. We're actually going to go in a circle. We're going here. No, no, no. We're going here. This is where we're going to end up. Um, in this elevator room, and we're going to go down. But what we're going to do real quick before we do that is we're going to go in a short circle around like this. Because there's an item here, an uh, item in here and an item in here that we want to get to do like a quick loop around we don't have to get them now I could save them for later but um, I decided not to um, so that the person following along will have some extra ammo and an energy tank. Woo! Oh my gosh, every time I do that, I get that roller coaster feeling going down. Okay, so let me read this. Following the south door in the uh, Magmore Caverns north elevator will bring us to the vault room. In here we can solve a short bomb puzzle to acquire a missile tank. So we can go like this, put a bomb here, put a bomb here, and then we have to morph ball jump to reach the last one. this way and right here is an energy tank let me read it obtained following the path from the vault nice And then we want to go down here. We're going to head towards the, uh, uh, the hive totem. Alright, in here. Okay, let me actually kind of... Alright, so the missile tank's right here. Um, we can't go this way. Follow it like a maze, because it'll be blocked off right there. So we want to hop in here. 
put a bomb there. Hop back up here. Or not back up, but now we can follow it to the missile tank. <gasps> yes, the missile tank. Cool. Okay. Woo! Dude, morph ball is the way to get around. Da, da. Oh gosh. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so there's a missile tank right in here. Let me read this. Um, this is the ruined nursery. No, the ruined gallery. Upgrade missile tank. Take a morph ball passageway to find this upgrade. Okay, so we hop up in here. To find that one. Oh! Like a blinding light in the dead of night. Haha! -ha. <gasps> like a blinding light in the dead of night. It's the gospel! That was everything, right? Next is... Um... Storage cavern. That's at the Triclops pit. Which we cannot look... Okay, so now, like I said, it leads us around back to the Magmore Caverns elevator. If we go back into this back room and follow this tunnel right here. It'll guide us, or maybe not necessarily guide us, but it'll lead us. Wait, that's the same thing! Guiding, leading, is the same thing. It'll lead us, lead, guide us to back here. Which we can then, if you haven't already, scan that. <gasps> Elevator! Dang, dude, she looks so cool! Man, I really hope they... Remaster the second one. Dude, the second one is... So, oh, dude, the second one's so good. I love the second one. It has my... It's not my favorite, but this one is my favorite. But it has my favorite area from all of the Metroid Prime games. All the Metroid games in general, which is uh, Torvis Bog. There's a safe station right here, by the way. Um, I'm gonna save it finally. And with that, uh, I think I'm gonna end it. Uh, I don't know how long this playthrough is gonna last. Um, getting through it pretty quickly so far. Uh, got through the first portion of the game. Um, uh, I'm not gonna record it, edit it, and upload it. I'm gonna record all of it, and then, um, not upload it all at once, but, like, upload it day by day, so every day will be another episode so that the person can follow along daily rather than, um, you know, as whenever it's all said and done, it can, it'll be a gradual upload. So every other, not every other day, every day I'll be uploading. But it's all going to be edited and done. I'm going to have beaten it and everything when the first episode goes up. The first episode goes up. Um, I'm very excited um, to be playing this um, and recording it. Um, this game means a lot to me. Um, it, it may not sound like it, but it does. <laughs> um, I mean, I may not seem as enthusiastic 
Um, but I am. <laughs> I don't mean to. I hope I don't sound zombified or something. <laughs> I am tired, but uh, you know, it's what it is. What it is, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna. I really want to do the second one as well. If I if it comes to that. Um, but um, my focus is uh, going to be on this series right now. This guide through, walk through, whatever, hundred percent walk through. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Um, so uh, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever it is that the YouTube people say to do. I guess. Uh, Share with your friends, whatever, you know. I don't mean to sound so... Oh, gosh, I need to do a... There's no, uh... There's no, uh... Guidebook to doing an outro. So... Um... I'll say... Um, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you come back again and have your notifications turned on for... Um, to be reminded when the next episode comes out. Um, and if you like what you watched here, um, subscribe, please. And like and stuff. Hit that thumbs up if you want more. Um, especially after this whole playthrough. If you want more, go ahead and hit that like. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Have a blessed day, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.